Junedin. Sine Junedin gamba Juna ro minara ro pe katama edime zatang. Junedin is nine years old and lives with his family in Ropi Town in Seraro, Oreda in central Ethiopia. It is more than 300 kilometers from Addis Ababa, the capital city of Ethiopia. Ropi Town has a population of more than 3,000 people and is one of five places in Seraro district where Child Fund Ireland is working with the local community. Here is Junidin with his family. His father's name is Gemetu. Gemetu works as a subsistence farmer, growing maize, haricot beans and teff. His mother's name is Mizrak. She looks after the home and all the children. Junidin has two brothers and three sisters. His older sister's name is Kasik. She is 11 years old and she is in fifth class in school. His younger siblings are called Netsanet, Lubit and Duressa. Duressa and Klubit are twins and Chala is the baby. Junidin's family live in a one-bedroomed house. Traditional houses in Seraro are made from mud and have a grass-thatched roof. Junidin's family home is made of mud, timber and has a corrugated iron roof. Houses with corrugated iron roofs are generally drier than those with the traditional thatch roof and need less maintenance. However, they are also more expensive to build and many families do not have enough money to buy them. All the families sleep together in one bedroom. Sometimes, when the weather is bad, the cattle also sleep inside the house and it gets very crowded. Every day, Junidin walks to school with his friends. He is in fourth class. His teacher's name is Kasik, which is the same name as his sister. Junidin loves school and his favorite subject is maths. Junidin has lots of friends in school. They all know how important it is to study and do well in school. At lunchtime, they play in the schoolyard. They like to play football and lots of other games, like you see here. His younger sister, Netsanet, and the twins, Klubit and Juressa, go to preschool in Ropi ECD Centre. This ECD Centre is just one of many schools built by Child Fund Ireland. Here, they start to learn subjects like geography, mathematics, and the national language of Ethiopia, Amharic. In Seraro, people speak a language called Afan Oromo. They get to make new friends and play together in the playground. After school each day, Junidin goes home and does his homework. When Junidin finishes primary school, he hopes to go to the secondary school in Ropi Town. However, not all children in Ethiopia are able to go to school, as there are no secondary schools in some towns. When he has finished his homework, he helps out with the chores at home. One of his jobs is to collect clean water for the family from the well that was installed by Child Fund. He goes there with Kasik, his older sister, and they carry containers that hold about five or 10 liters of water. These are quite heavy for children to carry. Before Child Fund installed the well, Junidin's family had to walk more than an hour to the river to get water. But luckily, the well is not far from their house. This water is used for drinking, cooking, and washing. Sometimes, Junidin helps his father out with the farming work. Seraro Wareda is a drought-prone area, and often it doesn't rain for months at a time. This makes it very difficult for Junidin's father and the other farmers in the village to grow their vegetables. The soil can be very dry, so it is important that they plow and turn the soil often. They choose some special crops that need less water to grow. When Junidin grows up, he would like to follow in his father's footsteps and become a farmer. Kasik, Junidin's sister, helps his mother with the housework. Every evening, they prepare a meal for the family to sit down together for dinner. In Ethiopia, eating together as a family is very important. This meal is traditional injera bread that looks like a pancake with rice and traditional Ethiopian potato stew. They do not use knives and forks. Instead, they use injera bread to pick up the food and eat. 
Jundanen's favourite meal is injera cooked with tomato and red lentils. After homework, dinner and all the chores are finished, Jundanen is allowed to play with his friends. They play all sorts of games, including football and hopscotch. They also like to sing together. Here, they are singing an Ethiopian version of Ten Green Bottles. Can you sing Ten Green Bottles? So that's a good look at a day in the life of Junadin and his family. Goodbye. 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 Dana Hunu, Junadin.